Raj, here we are at the MCG and it feels like a final, mate. For the first time, between our two teams, it feels like a final. It does. The joint's chockers, but not as chockers as what it will be in a tick. Because half the people are behind us in the bars watching the Matildas. It looks like he's about to go to penalties. Sort of wish they had that on the big screen. It's a sporting bonanza. This legitimately feels like a qualifier or an elimination final. That Friday night first final feel. We got a bit of a taste for it last night with Collingwood and the Cats. Um, you're confident in the Blues at the moment, they're flying. Yeah, I am. If we play the way we have been the last seven weeks, then I think it's a genuine coin flip. So I back it in. The Ds are meant to be red hot favourites, but I think that this is going to be down under one goal. What, what's your official tip? I'm going to count by four points. Oh, it could go one of two ways. The Ds could put out a very professional statement type performance and all the bodies that you have out at the moment could catch up to you, or it could just be on for young and old. I'm going to go the D's by eight. And all Carlton for the first 16 minutes of this quarter and this game. I don't think maybe we've had one or two inside 50s, but we're struggling to find that relieving mark. We're absorbing a lot of pressure. We're absorbing it quite well because we've got a pretty solid defence. But we're just struggling to find that relieving mark on the wing to let us set up ahead of the footy. Our pressure at the contest has been unreal. Anytime it looks like you might be out, one of us comes and tackles you. Zach Fisher, the halfback, has been one of the all-time master strokes. And Charlie Kernow, two shots early. Watch out. Weird term because it's eight to zero. But it doesn't feel like you should be 30 to zero. But we've won. Have we won? We've won. We've just won the World Cup. I mean, made it just one. <laughs> we won it all. Gone the early crowd. There's a bit of a cheer there. We think that the Australians uh, might have made it to the semi final. We feel like they might save this. Quarter time here at the MCG. The second term just about to kick off. Just at the quarter time break. The crowd erupted. Absolute boonanas here at the MCG because the Matildas are through to the semi. We're through to the semis, and all the word I was hearing during the week was if we beat France, we'll win it all. So I don't want to go the early crow, but we've won the World Cup. In a powerful, in a powerful position now, the Matildas. In a powerful position, the Blues. You're up by three points, but I reckon time is pulled half. It's about 75 percent right in front of us in this Matildas pocket. Matildas are winning the World Cup. Blues are winning the flag. Life does not get any better. He's yeah, getting their second for the match. Start of the second term. Absorbing, absorbing, absorbing. That's the first time in this whole game we've actually had uh, a run, of, a chain of play that's gotten past halfway, and K Chandler kicks one. That's why I don't even begin to buy into this chatter. We're better without Mackay. You got Charlie, the one man band with May and Lever double teaming him. If yep. we had Harry standing in a different spot, we'd be able to move the ball along. He's skipped out to an eight point lead. That was the margin I predicted for the end of the game. It has been. 79% Carlton this whole game, the time in forward half. They've had a few opportunities, but not as many opportunities act like shots of goal as what you'd probably expect for the dominant sport of the footy. The D's absorb, 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 and then we've been out to counter three times now. And it's just starting to dip the confidence a little bit of the Blues. Just kicking ourselves out of it, one five to three, one says it all. Right. Play Gakers taking just absolute screamers. The Blues are back in front, but the D's are pressing forward now, but that was some sort of mark. It's frustrating, we've lost the lead. Oh, lovely cutting. Half time, Rog, the D's had some ascendancy. Well, not, not really, to be honest. We've had no ascendancy, but we had the lead for a period there, got it out to eight points. The Blues kick the last two of the term, and they lead by two points. How are you feeling? You never really had ascendancy, but you were just rope doping You were yeah. consuming all of our pressure. And then hitting us on the counter attack, and we were wide open. A couple of times, our defense has been unreal on your uh, on your rebound 50s, but there were a couple of times it got out, and it hurt because we were missing blatant chances. And then you were going out the other end and hitting us on the counter. So I've got a block of nose, which is really frustrating me. Uh, but Matilda's a one. Now we just get the Bakers home. I'm pretty sure every loss we've had, maybe besides the Freo game, has been in the wet, and it is just wet and slippery. It's not showing both teams' strengths. It's just a tough, tough tussle, um, and the Blues have the better of us at the moment, but it doesn't, like, as much as the Blues have had forward half uh, ascendancy and time in forward half, it doesn't feel like they've had us on the back foot or had the foot on the throat, so it's a really weird situation. Uh, big second half, one of us is going home, very upset. Uh, it's not going to be one where it's over at three-quarter time. This is going down to the wire. Oh, he's kicked it out to 14 points. We haven't got it out of second gear. We haven't been able to get out of second gear. And 
main event, Matty Owe's best celebrator in the game. The Charlie Kerno Matty Owe's connection is one that doesn't get talked about much, but they always find a way to find each other. Petrarca has got one against the Tide. The Blues kicked the last couple. It's eight points again, 34 to 42. Battling. The Blues have been the better team, but it's wet. And the Dees don't play in well in the wet. I don't stop hearing this wet stuff. <laughs> we don't play well in the wet, so that's the excuse. Alex Neil Bullen threads one from the tight angle in the wet, reduces it to two points. The Ds are building here, starting to really build into this game. Three quarter time here at the MCG, Raj, and it's 42 apiece. Why did we bother coming? before three quarter time, it's zero, zero. Well, we dominated the first half. You just had your turn in the third quarter. Well done to you. And you can't help but feel like it'll be our turn this quarter. It was all blues early on. A bit of ascendancy. We finally got our hands on the footy in that third quarter. Put a little bit on the scoreboard, but not quite enough to get me too excited. So it's all even going into the last quarter. Who could be the match winner? Do you think, do you think it's possible that one of these teams go bang, 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 like it's just a runaway bang, bang. They turn it on, we get part, because it's been such a defensive game, you reckon there's a chance one of us goes bang, bang, and all of a sudden strung four goals in 10 minutes. That would be so frustrating. What did you do against the Saints? Did you grind we it out that. or did you bang, Last bang, bang? Last quarter, we bang, 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 four goals. Would you take a draw? I would take a draw. I wouldn't, we'd be below Brisbane on the ladder. Big last quarter coming up, season defining, finals like atmosphere, all comes down to this, come on boys. You said, could a team blow the game apart in five minutes, you kick two in two minutes and 30 seconds. Who were we doing chatting to? The Lambros, we just kept, uh, caught up with the Lambros doing great stuff on TikTok. And, uh, we're chatting with them for all of five seconds as the ball's bounced up. We hear a cheer as Matty Owies, we finish the interview, we come back down, Tom Dugotti's bowl on another, and you just feel there might be another one on the rise. Charlie Kernan to make it 18, 18 points. points. Start of the last. Yeah! Charlie! Come on! Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. Cosy Pig gets something out of nothing, reduces it to two goals. We need the next. No room for error from here. It is opened up completely. It's on for young and old. Smith, the most athletic man we've ever seen. He's taken a great contested mark, lining up in the pocket. We need this to reduce it to a goal. Oh, no way! No way! No way! It's a little bit of our turn, your turn at the moment. This is a seesawing arm wrestle. The D's are within a kick. Doherty being subbed off, Ed Kerno won. I would hope that there's been an injury there because taking Doherty off just does not seem like the right call to me. We're on the back foot. We're absorbing pressure. It's lived in the Blues forward half. I trust my team here. I just want to make finals, mate. When this will make finals, it's been so long. I trust the boys here. Find a way, find a gear. Under two minutes to go. Petrarch has kicked it. Petrarch has kicked it. The Blues are distraught. He's kicked it. He's kicked it. Wow. Petrarca. Review complete. Looking at these angles, there is insufficient evidence. These are falling short to a rampage in Carlton Footy Club, who were probably the better team all day. And they were the better team all day. But just allow us that last goal. We'll oh, see you in the final. Mate, we'll be in the granny, so unless you're there. Mate, the momentum is shifting ridiculous. 
It wasn't a goal. It was. I got it. I got it. Oh, it's a great win, nevertheless. You're a better, a better team all night, and um, how are you going to celebrate? I'm definitely headed out tonight. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> Richard, all on street, watch out. <laughs> oh my god, well done, well done, well done. Thanks, so there we go, guys. That is the game done and dusted. The Blues get home by the hair on their chinny chin chin. Oh, couldn't be out. We finally make finals, Cripper. Patrick Cripps in finals is going to turn into the best player you've ever seen in your life, I guarantee you. In a final, he will turn into a beast. Can't wait. We can't speak on the last goal because we haven't really seen a replay, but I wasn't convinced when it went off the boot. I didn't see what happened on the goal line. But when the replay came up at the ground, I started going ballistic. I was like, well, that is the biggest fresh area I've ever seen in my life. What I will say as a counts water, perhaps... If you consider that a goal, we didn't deserve to win that. If you just go off that result, that kick. But what I will say is that from where we were eight weeks ago, to lose Walsh, Chera, McGovern, Mackay, Mackay, Kennedy, the list goes on, Silvani, to win eight on the trot, even if it was dubious in that eighth game, we deserve to play finals and we've got there now. I think that is really well said, Rog. Good level-headed thinking. Um, I was frustrated by that final decision. But I felt like we were just on the back foot all game. I felt like the Blues belted into us. They had the ball in their forward half longer than we had it anywhere near ours. And they got the job done. They grounded away to a victory. So well done, son. And um, hopefully we see you in the finals. I'll tell you, the last three games we've gone to get to two. <laughs> Coffee Pickett's made us miss finals. You've had the biggest umpire controversy for us to make finals. And we commentated the game in a box at the fucking MCG. <laughs> Where so. do we go from here? Where do we go from here? <laughs>